that sort of thing. When it yep. comes to Melania Trump, I got to tell you, I really believe that it is inherently anti-feminist and anti-woman for anyone to believe that they should dictate how she decides what is best for her life and what is best for her son. You know. Ah! Hey, you fucking moron. This has nothing to fucking do with feminism. Jesus fucking Christ. No, it's everything. Everything's about feminism. No, you dumb whore. <laughs> this has nothing to do with that. Look, that is part of, you know, having a politician husband. Part of running. She encouraged them. And you gotta realize, okay, so this is the choice. Talk about a fucking first world problem, you know? How horrible can it really be to live at the fucking White House? <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, you can fuck off, okay? We'll tear your soul apart. Princess Peach speaks. Thanks, Mario, I guess. For fighting all those Koopa Troopas. And riding on the backs of dolphins. And traveling all the way to Star World to save me. You keep saying it was a lot of hard work. How you almost lost all of your 99 lives. How I should be grateful. But from my corner of the castle, it looked a lot like adventure. Are a fucking asshole for saying these things. I know. She was rushing the state fucking charging up the aisle towards me in full fight mode. I was horrified. I said, oh my God. I'm gonna kick this bitch in the face. <laughs> Need you to know, seriously, there's a lot of men in this room that identify themselves as feminists. The world, or as we are known on the streets, bitch ass niggas. Four states now have uh, some form of medical marijuana law, and eight have laws allowing recreational use. And that is good news. The war on drugs was futile, expensive. percent favored legalization. Today, it's 60%. Exactly. Marijuana is something we've just all gradually decided is okay. Like Mark Wahlberg as a serious actor. I'm dubious about marijuana. It states I get, can pass whatever laws they choose. See some action. Legislation will be announced during the week of April 10th. Ottawa will be in charge of making sure the supply is safe and secure and will license producers. The provinces will be free to decide how marijuana is distributed and sold. They will also have the right to set price. And while Ottawa will set the minimum age to buy and use at 18, provinces will have the option. That's great for Canada. It's good to know that Trudeau can do one thing, right? States, rights, that's great, I guess. It is implied that he's not going to... Uh, mess with them, but, well, I mean, we'll see. There's hope. I think uh, eventually it'll work itself out. Um, but we got to keep pushing. Oh, yeah, it's herbs. It's a medicinal herb. I love herbs, especially the freshness of them. You can use it for cooking if you want to do a really nice fettuccine. OK. Was it like uh, a this is, Yeah, it's like a basil. Wow. It has a nice smell to it. Fuck me. That's definitely not basil. Is this cannabis? Yes. Nunes, the house, they're off in a ditch. I don't know, I don't know where he, who invited him to look at the evidence in the White House. All I can say is, why do you show it to the chairman of the Intel Committee if you got it yourself? So, that never made immunity. I, we, immunity for what, uh, first of all? But if there's an active open investigation uh, by the FBI, uh, they shouldn't do that. Uh, our committee has actually been looking at something that it, we have paperwork that's due from the White House, the Pentagon, and, and the State Department today. But we may be doing something uh, later this week uh, related to his payments that he received from uh, not only Russia, but Turkey as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's the best time. Oh. Huh? Ja, raakt ze wel goed. Goed, hè? Ja. Haha. Ja.
McConnell's calculation when it comes to breaking the filibuster rule in common parlance going nuclear? Well, twofold. One is there's never been a 60 vote threshold for a Supreme Court nominee in the past. In fact, there are two members of the Supreme Court right now, Alito and Thomas, who re were confirmed with less than 60 votes. They had both had more than 50, but less than 60 votes. So they're trying to set a new standard by saying that this nominee now needs to achieve 60 votes, and I think McConnell is calling them out on that. The second thing is that this will likely not be the last nominee, Supreme Court nominee, that Donald Trump gets to appoint. And the next one could very well change the balance of the court. So let's go ahead and pull the nuclear option now to, to get rid of the filibuster rule so that for the next one, the political cost isn't as high and we can nominate whoever well, we want. Eat shit, you smug cunt. Yeah, you mean a lot like uh, how you guys pulled the Biden rule to uh, not have uh, Merrick Garland? Uh, uh, considered that? You mean like that? Yeah, is that what you're talking about? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, and, and here's the thing 50% of the country are liberal Democrat. So, you know what? You have to work for them, too. And you know, this is not in the spirit of, of uh, what the founders want and what the Constitution is. Okay? Just filling it up with whoever the fuck you want, and you know, hey, you know what? 50% of you, fuck you. You can go fuck yourselves, alright? We're gonna do what we want.